I had dangerously become schizophrenic when I was overseas teaching ESL. In many ways, I was lucky to make it safely home to Canada when I did. There is no telling what would have happened when I was overseas because I was all alone. Then I suffered delusions of false exhilarations that turned to delusions of being convinced I was going to be tortured. For this reason, I almost committed suicide. Like an eggshell, what people saw on the outside was no clue to what, ha what happens on the inside. Very carefully, I planned each exchange in the safety net of youth and luck. Perchance, someone threw that egg while standing on a cliff, and my brain smashed in the dark valley below. The outer casing broke into bits, with the inner functioning running amiss. The innards were scrambled and lay before me like the fragments of scattered existence, which was a reflection of my life. I was brought into the psych ward 28 times. My psychiatrist made me sign a document that if I went off my meds again, it would have me committed to the psych ward in Claire's home. This was a very scary thing. So I obliged. A man in my life convinced me to steal my meds by using a little bit of honey that went a long way, especially when I wouldn't listen to anyone else. Then I got God in my life in three different people. My best friend, my mother, and my case load worker. When silence cloaked me like a thick blanket, I saw God in your eyes. Clutching for a grounded sense of purpose, I saw God in your eyes. When I felt the despair of a godless world, I saw God in your eyes. You did not give me money or monetary comfort, but I saw God in your eyes. Now all I need to deal with is my sleep, and most nights I get about seven hours, but I am still working on it. One of my accomplishments is going on a vacation for a week in Ottawa by myself. I also have a creative writing program, which is a high quality program that can be used for all ages. My case of worker and momentum will guide me to offer both on the internet. What was once an egg splatter mess has turned into many things that are blessed. My journey took me here, there, and everywhere. In my past, it was all I could bear. From fumbling idiot far by my delusions, I came to happiness and life with many conclusions. The seasons of life have given me patience. I have lived a good life because of its varied sensations. <laughs>